The Second World War brought a lot of constraints to the fashion industry. Nonetheless, manufacturers and designers were very creative within those limitations. They took inspiration from men's military uniforms. The silhouette was very straight and boxy. We know what we want, and we're prepared to fight for it. Where women couldn't really express themselves so much, they could through their hats, small hats that had a great variety of shapes and lots of little trims, little bows, net veils, and feathers, and also through hairstyles that reminded them of favorite Hollywood movie stars. <laughs> The hourglass silhouette that came to typify the 1950s was actually launched in 1947 by Christian Dior. This new silhouette had a tiny Nipkin waist and skirts with lots of fabric. They were long and full, and the upper part of the body was very closely fitted with tiny rounded shoulders. On the other hand, in the 1950s, the typical man was the man in the gray flannel suit with a fedora hat. The 1960s brought about big social and demographic changes. The ideal body is no longer voluptuous and curvy and hourglass shaped. It's very straight, very childlike, very teenage, in fact. With such a large portion of the population being under 25, the sexual revolution came about. So the miniskirt that showed increasingly more of the legs as the decade progressed was the style that epitomized the sexual revolution. We also know we're in the 60s when we see these big bouffant hairstyles. And it was also all about the makeup. The emphasis was on the eyes that could be revealed or hidden with a pair of dark sunglasses. Fashion in the early 1970s took the late 60s trends to an extreme. Men wore color, patterns, stripes, open shirts, even jewelry, and women maxi dresses in floral prints. Wow. Not especially interesting, so. Best The 1970s was also the age of unisex. Men and women dressing alike, wearing denim jeans, cutting them off to make shorts, denim jackets, denim shirts. Denim that had but once been associated with working people and labor was everywhere, and it has been ever since. This archive shows us just how much changed in society and in fashion in just 40 years.